my travels have taken me all around the world. But when I get a chance to explore my native California, I'm always inspired. Gold Country, packed with spectacular food and wine and a whole lot of history, had the makings of a great road trip. Time for an adventure. Highway 80 winds east out of Sacramento, slowly climbing into the Sierra Nevada mountains onwards to Lake Tahoe. In the foothills of the Sierras is where gold was first discovered in 1848, and where you'll find the town of Auburn, full of history and a thriving cultural scene. First stop is coffee and food at Auburn Coffee Company, a locally owned shop that makes a great bagel sandwich and even has kombucha on tap. Gold miners found great mining in the Placer region, and as a result, Auburn became a town in 1849. One building caught my eye, so I headed in to check it out. My grandfather built this building as a boarding house in the early 20s, and so the transient Chinese population picking fruit or vegetables yeah. during the different seasons and all, they needed a place to stay. They could do their praying, they could plan out the cultural events. My Grandpa Charlie decided that Auburn needed a Chinese school. That's what the blackboard and the little desks oh, are. Oh, so there used to be a school operating out here? This is probably Placer County's only Chinese school. Time to head south on 49 to Coloma to uncover more. Coloma sits on the South Fork of the American River and is where the gold rush began. A visit to Marshall Gold Discovery State Park is an opportunity to step back in time. Plaques step you through the history of the gold miners, including the history of the Chinese miners and you can still pan for gold. Heading south on 49 will take you to Placerville in El Dorado County. Originally named Hangtown, well, for obvious reasons. The town was a central hub for the mother load mining operations. Along Main Street, you can still see much of the history intact, and a great place to learn more is from the ladies at the Fountain and Tallman Museum. All this history makes me really hungry. The Farm Table Restaurant is a great place to get lunch. So what inspired you to start this restaurant? We started out making sausage for sale at the farmer's markets. And so right here, you make the sausages yourself? That's what we do. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 pounds of sausage every week. Wow. And uh, you know, this is a perfect place to grab a platter like this and go and have a, a fantastic day. Heading south towards Plymouth, you'll find the Shenandoah Valley and Amador County's wine country. Hellwig is a winery with a breathtaking view and fantastic wines. The winery has a great tasting room that I had to check out. So this is made from 100% Syrah, and it's root stock, so it's nice and dry, very crisp. I talked with a winemaker to learn more about the rich winemaking history in Amador County. Came here in the, the you know the 1840s for the gold rush. That you were saying that didn't last that long. They took all the gold <laughs> away, and then they were kind of left like, well, you know, what what's going to be our economy now? When the gold rush came, uh, the, a lot of the immigrants from um, the East Coast and Midwest they came out here, and a lot of them were Italians, and they brought their vine cuttings with them. Hanford House is in historic Sutter Creek. What an awesome way to conclude my road trip through the heart of the gold country. A glass of local wine, some live music, and the setting sun. <laughs>